I would say Chris Fuston. He's uh, he's got a decent amount of bulk, and I feel like if he just you know slams into someone over and over again, the the kid can rampage. He listened to punk rock in high school. I would go with Juliet Everhart. She is, uh, she can make herself very unassuming, and I assume she would just go around the fight with like a butterfly knife and just cut people's like Achilles tendons. You know, just sneak around the floor like a snake, just bite at him. I just can't see Kenzie going down ever for any reason. I don't know why, she just, she's too resilient. I feel like willpower alone would make her impenetrable to bullets. Adam is surprisingly nimble. And wily. And he is a mean mother trucker. It would be me. Ashley Osborne is a ninja. I have never seen a person so small, but so ferocious. She's got the heart of a warrior and uh, guns too. I'll be honest, I think it could be Ashley because she's kind of little and scrappy. Um, but the first one to go for sure would probably be Zach because he, he yells, but he's not very intense. The last person standing is probably going to be Keith Curtis because I bet that he ran out while the fight was going on, and then he'll just come back in like, yeah, what? Paul DeMerchant, he's an intimidating beast. He's a, he's like a Nordic Viking, I think. Yeah, cause he's a giant. I mean, have you seen that movie, Jack and the Giant Killer? I feel like in one felt swoopy would just like grab, you know, like Keith and, and maybe like, you know, Aaron like the two gangliest guys that we have in the company, and he just smashed them together like skeletons, like uh, Helter Skelter style, just, you know, and then and then he would just run through a gauntlet like he would pick up a giant ax that he found. I'm a pretty dirty fighter. Uh, a lot of people might say Paul, but last I checked, he has kneecaps like everybody else, so he too can go down. Me, I'm the heaviest and the baldest.